The count began at midnight, volunteers taking count as the homeless population checked into the Salvation Army. Over the next 24 hours, workers will tally up those affected by homelessness. The information will help local organizations direct funds to the right services. Michelle Rickard has experienced her share of hardship. She says taking care of each other is what the homeless count is about. However, the stats are still important. We're not begging for money up here. No, we, no, we just need the statistics to show that we're worth paying attention to. The Women's Resource Society also published Word on the Street FSJ for the count. It's a newsletter full of stories from the less fortunate in the community. Tammy Rain says she brought the idea of the newsletter to Executive Director Amanda Trotter to give her people a voice. We should just, you know, write something about how we live and like out there and, you know, put it all together. I didn't think people would listen about that and she did and she's got it going and yes and it's going to keep going. One of those voices in the Homeless Count edition comes from Michelle. She wrote her story about the piano that sits on the corner of 100th Street and 101st Avenue. I've met people who are completely homeless that have musical backgrounds from major musical families that in their worst moments in the winter sit and compose music. I have seen so many people with life's challenges use it for therapy. The piano is more than just an instrument to Michelle. It's a tool to bring her community together. It's hard enough to be in the north where we choose to be. Okay, we choose to be here. This is a community behind me. These are people who take care of each other. The count continues until midnight. The Women's Society is asking anyone who is homeless to call and take the survey. Lachlan Drash Bevan, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.